thought get a few um, clips of the elusive bee knife while they're out feeding. Obviously not hiding for a change. I can't lie, they really are um, nice uh, specimens of um, Rio Blancos or San Pedro's. They're the same sorts as the same ones I got before, which I'm guessing the ones I got before were F1s. So I'm guessing these come from the same parents, which would be F1s of this. These, these will be F1s as well. To my knowledge, there's only one breeder of these in the UK. breeds about uh, six different types but yeah I think it comes from the bean armor but yeah when I got these um, I think a couple of them bloated because um, they started getting the white stringy shit and all that um, I weren't quite sure what caused it to be honest this time round because like, I know I messed up the last time I just sort of winged it and hoped for the best kept them on like 50% water changes all the time and all the rest this time um, I put a UV steriliser on there um, over 36 watts if there's anything under 36 watts it doesn't actually kill parasites it just really does more algae than anything but it doesn't uh, stop the, uh, the parasite cycle so I've had to whack a big um, UV on here. I've got um, a large canister filter on here with, um, I think it's got Eon Substract Pro and Biohome Ultimate in it. Um, I'm also testing out on another filter which I'm going to be adding to it, which is a fluidized uh, sand filter, but instead I'm going to be using um, it's a fluidized nitrate media. I'm just going to give it a try. It, it works on fresh water and salt water, but um, all the salt water equipment is right years ahead of the fresh water stuff. I mean, it's literally pants the stuff for, for the fresh water hobby. I mean, literally, this is like probably as good as it gets. Is um, like the fluval LED um, app controlled lights, unless you want to start buying kessels and that. But I don't really see the point. You don't really see. You ain't gonna see much more. You get the shimmer in and that off of the kessels, but. From actually seeing the light of the fish, I don't really think it's gonna make much difference. I mean, I've got this on the lowest setting. I'll turn it up; they'll probably hide now. But yeah, it's just as I thought. I know there's one stood up, two. Oh, they'll be back up. But um, yeah, they're doing well at the minute in the four foot tank. As I said, I've got the large canister filter on there, um, a ton of media, good good quality media as well, by Home Ultimate and the Arm Substrat Pro. I've got two um, really cycled um, sponge filters in there, just going until um, the tank nicely going. got sand on the substrate on this one, and um, I've kept the water on this 50% RO, 50% tap water, obviously with the minerals added to it and that. And um, basically, it's the same water that the fish come out of. So when I went to collect them, and um, obviously they've been kept in RO, I obviously had to do the same thing. Because the fellow kept discus as well, and he literally just said he'd done the exact same thing with the parameters. Because he had uh, eight of these, and um, he ended up with a pair out of them. And uh, he's got the pair swung in now, and he's kept a spare female. So I bought the other five. But as I said, he's the only other person I've seen that's, that's ever spawned them. But he's got them in a, a four foot jewel. Just the two of them that are female divided. But um, yeah, he's had fry at them twice. Both times I've eaten the fry, so he's had them third time, lucky. But yeah, I'm, well, I've left, no, left it, you know. Well, I know at least a lot of it is just luck as well, but I've got Purigen in there. I've got. Um, like way over the top uh, biomedia, RO, 50% RO. Um, I've got the uh, oxygenating plants in there. Like if something goes, and I'm literally feeding by the book, like, with, like a minimal amount, I'm not bloating them or anything like that. I haven't got the water on those silly 68 degrees or nothing. I've just got 
heaters in there, but it's not turned on. The tank's sitting there probably at the minute about 78. But anything from 77 up to about 82, I've been fine with them. But yeah, I had some bad news yesterday. I set up a dual tank in the other bedroom, a four foot dual. And um, I put it on blocks. And I didn't realise underneath where the ridge is, underneath the plastic frame underneath, there was a pebble <laughs> in between the glass and the concrete block. So as the tank started to fill, I didn't even notice. I got a knock from the downstairs neighbour saying, "There's like your your water uh, main burst or something." I said, "No, why? I've gone up my tank, I've got uh, 240 litres all over the floor." So yeah, it's a damn bit of fun, day. But you know, we're also part of the hobby in it. I mean, I thought doing things at fucking silly o'clock in the morning trying to get things done. But yeah, that's me and all the rover. Normally doing water changes at four in the morning. <laughs> but yeah, cheers mate.